I guess this is a question where it's definitely important to read the question and make sure you don't lose out on words that are in all capital letters, like the word not. The mean and the median of the five numbers above are equal. Which of the following is not a possible value of x? Sometimes people miss that, even though it's obviously very distinctive in the question. But the choice that I would be most drawn to just thinking about mean and median being equal is choice C. Because if I were to rearrange these things, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, without really even doing any calculations, I can now see that the mean and the median are gonna be the same. The median is just the middle number, but because this set is very well balanced, I also can tell that the, the mean is gonna be 16, right? It's almost like the 14 and the 18 are kind of evening things out on the scale and the 15 and the 17 are evening things out. They're the same distance from the middle. So we'll see that in later questions in this set where you kind of have to be able to recognize when you've got a list of numbers in order, the mean is going to be the middle because it is a well-balanced set. So this is not the right answer because we want something that doesn't work. But here, the mean and the median are the same. That, to me, is the most obvious answer. From there, I would focus on the mean because what we want to do, basically, is see if the mean is going to be a member of the set. I don't really care so much about ordering things unless I absolutely have to. So the, the choice that I go to is A because I'm like, well, that's really weird, right? Six is very far away. 11 and 21... Uh, they're pretty close to these other numbers, so maybe something's going to happen where the mean and the median are the same. But I, I would go to A, and I would just see what happens. If we make get the mean, right, We I wouldn't write this out on my scratch, but I could. Uh, 15 plus 14 plus 18 plus 17 plus 6 divided by 5. That's how we're going to get the mean for that particular set, right? The sum of the numbers over the number of numbers. So 15 plus 14 plus 18 plus 17 plus 6 is 70 and 70 divided by five is 14. So that is a number in the set. So could this be the median? Let's see, if we rearrange these things, we'd have six, 14, 15, 17, 18. No, the median is the middle number, so that doesn't work. So there you go, A is the answer. I wouldn't bother to try B and D at this point. So uh, I'm sure if we do B and D, we will get that the mean and the median are the same. It has to be that way. I don't really care enough to do it. But um, just remember, I guess, uh, there are sometimes shortcuts we can do, but I took the time to calculate the mean here. I did it on my, uh, on my calculator. I would have done um, on my scratch paper. I still would have written this, the 70 divided by 5. I don't like to use the average formula as one big thing in my calculator because it's very easy to mistype something. So I'm trying to do it in little pieces, but that's about it. I wouldn't have written this, this uh, other piece out, but I would still try to think about maybe if I have a hunch about which answer is going to be right, I don't want to go ahead and just pick that hunch right away and, and have some sort of logical reason why six has to be right. I'd much rather just do the, the work for 30 seconds and prove it. I don't want to get a question like this wrong. If you do, this is like a totally preventable mistake. You just need to use the average formula and your basic understanding of median, and you can just prove the answer. So prove it. If you got it wrong because you missed this not, well, that's a whole other thing. That's not even a statistics issue. That's a read the freaking question issue because, yeah, you can't get stuff wrong like that. That's The SAT does that on purpose, and somehow people still miss it even when it's in capital letters.